Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today I'm going to speak about the four very distinct joints that compose the shoulder complex. They are the glenohumeral joint, the scapulothoracic joint, the acromioclavicular joint, and the sternoclavicular joint. The glenohumeral joint, often abbreviated to GHJ, is where the humeral head articulates with the glenoid fossa, sometimes called the glenoid cavity, of the scapula. The scapula is the medical name for the shoulder blade. The humerus is the medical name for the upper arm bone. The humeral head is much larger than the glenoid fossa, and this allows for a high range of mobility. This joint moves in all planes, and it also can perform 360 degrees of circumduction. But this also is a very unstable joint, so it needs to be stabilized by the surrounding structures. The scapulothoracic joint is where the anterior aspect of the scapula articulates with the posterior aspect of the ribcage. The acromioclavicular joint is often abbreviated to the AC joint. This joint is where the acromion process of the scapula articulates with the lateral aspect of the clavicle. The clavicle is the medical name for the collarbone. The sternoclavicular joint, often abbreviated to the SC joint, is where the medial aspect of the clavicle articulates with the sternum. The sternum is the medical name for the breastbone. So these four joints, again, the glenohumeral joint, the scapulothoracic joint, the acromioclavicular joint and the sternoclavicular joint compose the shoulder complex.